dispatchers asking me if I could uh, get them out of a jam and take a load for them so I had enough hours so I told them yeah no problem so here in St. Paul and I'm just charging my GoPro this is why I'm recording like this um, that's why we're gonna record day one uh, so yeah got got out later than I wanted to and uh, so we're here getting we're in line to get unloaded, and then we have two pickups going back to Winnipeg. Uh, so, see what they have uh, when we get back to Winnipeg. If they don't have anything, then we'll take our days off then. Uh, if they have something, then I'll take stuff just to fill up this week, because the load that they had booked me on uh, went away, because I can't take it now, because I'm taking this. And, uh, yeah. But, all is well. Uh, helps out, uh, it solves a small problem for the dispatcher, so that's always good. You know, that's how you, that's how you make money, you stay in their good books. And, uh, it's not too hard, just do your job, so. We are empty, heading to our first reload, Hastings. So we're just going to, uh, bang over to the 35W, take that south. Four ninety five. It's going to be a left exit. Shield's dirty, I know that, but I didn't have a chance to clean it, so you'll just have to deal with it. So I'm not, what I look like, some sort of window washer, some sort of gas jockey that checks oil and does the windows? No, I don't think so. I'll clean them up in uh, St. Cloud when we leave the cities. We'll have to deal with it until then. One thing about uh, running in uh, on the prairies and in the plains and the Midwest here is that you cannot keep the windshield clean. in a hurry so I didn't clean it on the way in. No time for that, I can still see somewhat.
just picked up at our first pickup. Hoping you guys can see that the windows aren't too bad. And now we're heading to uh, just north of the cities, uh, New Brighton. New Brighton. Told me after lunch, but I haven't been able to get a hold of them. My Qualcomm, my satellite message said after lunch. So. By the time I get around there, it'll be after lunch. We have any place to stop between there, so I'm hoping by the time I get there, everything will be good. going through, the Twin Cities are nice going through at night, because uh, not much traffic, so you just fly through there, and like all this is a bottleneck and stuff, so I do try to do it at night, but when I go through at night, I just go through uh, downtown on uh, the 94, uh, a few less miles, and if you're not going to run into traffic anyways, just fly through the downtown. And the buildings look nice. The uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul, downtown at night. Uh, they have some the cathedrals and churches and stuff. And uh, between the cities, and they're all lit up at night. So if you ever have a chance, uh, stick the 94 through. Uh, it's dark. Looks pretty nice. Good morning, it's uh, Saturday, we're in Fargo. Uh, I was gonna get going earlier, it's later morning, but uh, the load that we're picking up to leave on Sunday, uh, I have to go pick up from McGregor, so I didn't know that until late, so that's disappointing. But it's not ready till two, so. We're getting going a little bit later, but by the time we get to the city, drop the trailer, we go to McGregor, it'll be about two. Uh, I don't expect it to be done early, so. Uh, then we're going to go home for the night and then uh, leave on Sunday because uh, first drop is Morris, Minnesota. So assuming that's correct, uh, well it better be because I've made plans that I can't leave till Sunday so it's going to be late if it, if it isn't, uh, if first drop's further than Morris, if it's a two day drive. So uh, yeah, so we're just going to take off from uh, Fargo and uh, uh, haul butt to Winnipeg and then go get that stuff from McGregor, probably drive everything back in, in Winnipeg, go home, and then leave on Sunday. So, because I have to get my wife the car. 
only have one car and she's shooting a wedding so I took our car she borrowed a person a friend's car because uh, it's all the way in Verdon and our car is having some transmission problems so uh, she borrowed that and because uh, she would rather well, they don't mind I'd rather give them the money than rent a car here I grab forks I'm grabbing fuel down to here than in Canada, so although I'm going to go right past Headingley, like right through Headingley, uh, cheaper fuel here, cheaper fuel here, fuel's cheaper here, and uh, sorry, I had beer for breakfast, so my speech isn't goodly. Um, yeah, fuel's cheaper here, so we will grab it here, save a couple of few bucks for the company. on keeping on I should have gotten here last night but I didn't have enough hours I wanted to I barely got the Farga you can always usually find always find parking here because see where this flat deck is to my left they'll park right across there and stuff so as long as you they usually leave a laneway to the pumps, so. And if you can't find parking here, there's the Stay Martin Town, and there's a rest area not too far away. So, you can usually find parking in this area. Assuming you have enough hours to get. Got fuel, I did the windows. Not well, but still did the windows. Uh, professional window washer. Are there professional window washers? I don't know. But beggars can't be choosers, so that's as good as she gets. If you don't like it, go watch somebody else's video. I'm just kidding. I'm not really. I don't mean it to be so rude. Well, I do, but ah, just never mind. see where the parking is and isn't. The Wenmar I can almost see. Not really a parking spot, but I get it. But the other one. Alright, we uh, got through costumes A-okay, of course. And the guy with the rubber glove was gentle this time. Sadly. But, uh, all right, so we hooked up to another trailer. Just uh, dropped that one in the in dock door, the one that we had. Taking an empty one out to McGregor, and we'll hopefully grab the trailer that's already loaded McGregor. It should be done. I just don't know if anybody's gonna be there. Uh, it's supposed to be there too. But, all right, we just switched out trailers in McGregor. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go uh, drop this at the yard. I'm gonna go home for the night. And then uh, come back tomorrow because our first drop is Morris, Minnesota. So, just a little south of Fergus Falls. Um, so, that's going to be uh, quick. That can leave Sunday, no problem. And uh, plenty of time to get there. 